Boy Pilipinas mula rito sa Mall of Asia Arena. Nag-upisa na ang ating labanan between the Talk and Text Tropang Texters and the Meralco Balls. Sabi nga nila, sibling rivalry. Well, we'll see. Siguradong bakbakan ang laban nito to try to move up in the standings. I'm Charlie Kuna together with the good doctor Andy Howe. Doc, itong uh, sinasabi nila siblings daw ito pero pag magkaibang uniforme, walang kakapatid-kapatid dito sa PBA. Well, definitely. They are professional players and they belong to different teams so you understand that you have to fight for your own turf. No? And right now, uh, we have uh, both of them not in real good position with their win-loss card. So, a victory is very important if they want to advance to the next round. Back at 3 and 2, Token Dex is tied with Kia for the 5th and 6th places in the rankings. Itong Meralco naman, 3 and 3. Solo 7th sila as of now. So, gusto mo mangat. You want to stay out of that bottom 4 para hindi ma-eliminate outright. Douglas takes that 3. It's long. Nakauna na a while ago, Meralco with the first 2 points of the game. This is the PBA Governors Cup coverage on TV5. And on the floor right now, there's Danny Ai, Il Defonso inside, have to go out to Sia Ando, kadilang Japanese Asian imports. Haj attacks the basket, it's too strong. The rebound taken by Harvey Carey. By the way, this first quarter is brought to us by Motolite for Express Latin Service. Call 370-6686, nakaagaw ang Meralco Balls. Andre Emmett leaves it for Ando. He misses that layup. Emmett is there to clean it up for zero on the score. Well, Meralco is doing it by a good defense, forcing the uh, talking text for punk texters to miss some shots and cause some turnovers. Now, that's the only way that they can match up against such a good offensive team as the Tropa Texter. Pete Cruz, nasa poste ngayon. Sinubukan ng depensa ni Andre Emmett. Overshoots, gets it back. Siya naman, nakapun back ngayon. These are two teams that really do not have a lot of what you'd say good big men or the center that can dominate unlike uh, some of the other teams already in the league. Plus the teams that have been given big imports, no? so they do struggle against big teams. Because of that, uh, with the front line, there's some big guys there. Para naman, para sa talk and text, you have Jay Wash, fans about 6'6. Six, six. Kabilang panic naman, eh. sila rin nilog natin ang mga front line. Ito sinasabi natin kanina, Dr. J, sibling rivalry. Sabi nila, dahil nga, they belong to that same group of companies. But if you really look at it, you know, they're really fighting for survival. Ito sa atin, short Governor's Cup elimination. And if you remember, uh, Token Tex went on to win the last championship, but Meralco was also in the semifinal. So, uh, that was in itself already uh, a very big plus for them. That's going to be a loose ball foul on Hodge. Sinusubukan ni Cliff Haji Urong palabas ito si Stephon Pettigrew who did get that rebound. Pettigrew has uh, shown or proven himself to be a very reliable import. Steady, steady. Walang flash uh, whatsoever ito si Pettigrew but he gets the job done. He's a hard worker and his numbers were really big against Global the other night in terms of points and even rebounds. The only thing that hurt them was of course his seven turnovers. He and Jason had some problems uh, in controlling the ball. Douglas has been a real big player for this team. Nice feed to Harvey Carey. Sam Douglas, ang kanilang Asian import, talking text, is averaging about six and a half assists per ball game. So siyang the primary distributor para sa mga nakaputing talking text. Sean Anthony goes to Tanya, the veteran, in his farewell tour. His last conference in the league, he, saw, he already said, two-time MVP, offensive rebound, nakuha ni Sean Anthony. And Anthony has really given them a boost in the past couple of games, Dr. J with his hustle. Yeah, he and Cliff Hodge are almost the same type of players, you would say imitators, no? pero they play the same type of game and their hustle and defense really helps the team. That's a three-point shot there by Ando, something that Miralco really needs, but Pedigro is running. Oh, good block by Hodge, this is what we're talking about. No? Three a while ago, Bulaki Ando brought to us by PLDT Home Devolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. They're up 7-4. to four. Cliff Hodge goes strong to the hoop. Had to throw it backwards to Andre Emmett. Back-to-back -back threes. The two imports hitting though. That's also brought to us by PLDT Home Devolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Andre Emmett is a big-time scorer in the D-League in the States. And for a while, he probably thought he could still have a shot at maybe making an NBA team. But, you know, last game, he did not perform well for them in the first half, but he still came up with the big numbers in the second half. I think 19 of his 21 points, Charlie. So, we're talking about victory game. against Blackwater. Yeah. And then, you know, the thing about that game is 
Although yung numbers nito si uh, Emmett were down, ang dami naman nag-step up din para supportan siya in that ball game just in time. Correct. You know, that's the thing with a team that has good locals. You have to be able, that was a nice bounce pass, pero medyo malayo lang talaga ang uh, buelo ni uh, Washington in that play and he couldn't catch up with it. Almost five minutes into this first quarter of action, Danny Ay, malayo sa basket. Goes over to Sean Anthony. It's down to just six seconds to shoot. Ando. Three-point line. Had to lead forward. Took it anyway. Got some rim. Pero nakuha na ng Talk and Text ang bola. Nagahabol dito in the early goings. And Talk and Text has had some problems starting games dito sa ating conference so far. Pettigrew. Nakita si Sam Douglas. Sets his feet for three. And that's short. Two misses from Rainbow Country para kay Osama Douglas. Hodge once again, strong to the hoop, pero off balance ang kanyang layup. They get another offensive rebound. Pangatlo na yata yan dito sa ating first quarter. Well, Emmett doing a job, a better job off the boards here. No? Emmett has really been known as a scorer, not much of anything else. But uh, I think he's really putting the effort in this ball game tonight. Emmett yeah. tried to go to Anthony na ago ni Sam Douglas. Decides to bring it back out. Dahil nakaset na depensa ng mga naka-orange. Outside shot, Jaywash, and that's off target once again. Well, you know, they've only made two field goals, no? And they started slowly, then they made two field goals, and then they went silent all of a sudden again. No? has been missing some shots. No? Past few plays, then, Dr. J. Kaya ito, atake sa loob, si Ando, lacking that height. Yan ang kulang dyan kay si Ando, kaya naman nahihirapan siya going into the paint. A second to go, and Sean Anthony misfires. Didn't get any iron. That's going to be a 24-second violation. Ball will go back to the other side. 5.31 remaining starting first quarter. If you notice, that's where he had problems in the last two plays for them. Tama yung tama. May lack of time. We were talking about it earlier, Dr. J. Let's hear more uh, about Seiya Ando. Mula kay Apple David at Courtside. Apple? Hindi maitago ni Seiya Ando. Excitement niya na makatapat ang talk and text. Particularly si Jason Castro. Ang sabi nga niya, Jason is one of Asia's best point guards. At marami rin magandang kwento ang kanyang teammates ng Colke the Blur. Ang sabi pa niya, gusto niya itest ang kanyang sarili. I want to beat him, he said. At Charlie at Dr. J, alam niyo ba na ang 22-year-old na si Ando ang itinuturing na Kiefer Ravenna ng Japan? Kiefer Ravenna ng Japan. Anak din siya ng former pro player. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, pero medyo malayo, malayo pa siya kay Jason. <laughs> oh, no. that's, well, that's something he's reaching for. Just go to show you, Dr. J, kung how far-reaching yung impact ng ating mga pro players. You know, you're all the way in Japan. At uh, recognize ito si Seya Ando, yung galing ni Jason Castro. He probably got to watch the FIBA Asia yeah. a couple of seasons back. Yeah, yeah. And he saw how uh, how well Jason played there. Right now he's facing him. Uh, well, he will be facing him uh, in this ball game. So he must challenge talaga siya rito. Surprise starting lineup ang ginawa ni Jong Yuchi. He didn't start off with Ronnie Dell. He started off with Jay Washington. But now he knows he has to get Ronnie Dell into the ball game because Washington has been missing those shots and they've been posting their import. He said Ronnie Dell being the one posting. <laughs> One hander ni Larry Fonasier, hindi pumasok, but another offensive rebound, and Pettigrew tried to put it in. Mintis na naman, hirap na hirap maka-score dito ang Talk and Text, and that's something we rarely say about this team with so much firepower. They're trailing by nine right now, 13 to four. Andre Emmett, gusto bang dagdagan niya? Well, yun, the boards have really put a stonewall defense there in the three-second area. No? I mean, everybody's helping out, and then look at this penetration to the basket there by... Uh, Cliff Hodge, and he will go to the free throw line. Cliff Hodge being aggressive sa larong ito, Dr. J. We've seen him drive to the basket several times. Dile na ako ng basket, but now at the line, has a chance to get two. Free throws ni Cliff Hodge at it's atin ang smart. Live more. And Cliff Hodge, you know, alam naman natin, he's one of those hustle players, provides so much, can help the team, not just in scoring, pero yung all-around energy niya. Nakakatulong talaga sa, sa kanyang kupunan. Danny Delfonso being replaced here by uh, Jared Dillinger, playing his third game after the injury he suffered just before the semifinals last right. conference. But he did give a good sign of what he can do, doing some scoring and a lot of good defensive rebounding plus uh, defensive uh, adjustments on his man. He provides all sorts of mismatches for the Meralco Bulls. Well, it's a size and the ability to handle the ball, but Douglas 
finds Gary, looking for some space, may reach in. Sinasabi ni Sean Anthony, acknowledging that he fouled, but sinasabi niya sa baba, he's right. shooting foul. Yeah. Tama naman. Well, he wanted to reach in, and if he was able to get a good clean uh, uh, steal, he, they would have had a layup. The path to the side, no hesitation on that three. Pero may depensa si Cliff Hodge, which bothered Randy Del Deo Campos, short on that three-pointer, and nakompleto pa nila to get that ball back. Meralco will try to attack, already with a 10-point lead. With 3.39 remaining in the first quarter. Their field goal percentage is not really high, but they have been able to get some good shots, plus the two three-point shots earlier. Another three-point attempt, and that's already the third conversion from that area for the Meralco Bolts. Second one para kay Andre Emmett. Labing tatlo na ang lamang ng Meralco. 3.20 na titira sa ating first quarter. So looking for some points. Ranidel goes inside to Harvey. Carry one bounce. Nice reverse para kay Harvey. Good hookup between the two front liners from Talk and Text to cut the lead down to just nine. It's very uh, hard to say that. Tungkol sa Talk and Text, ang daming anong pwedeng umiscore dyan sa team niya. They just didn't start well here. And that's the reason why Castro and Ranjel are in the ball game right now. To give them a lot more stability and their firepower. They only shot 20% from the field so far in this first quarter. And Sean Anthony with a three-point attempt open. Douglas has been clearing the boards and really pushing up the ball. Now gives it out and Castro gets into his pool. He's just been a fantastic player. You know, he missed the first uh, three games ng uh, kanyang opponent in this conference. Came back, became best player of the game sa kanyang unang laban. Sa pangalawa naman, 30 plus agad na score. Bumitin lang sila against Global Well, Force. if they won, he would have been the best oh, player definitely. too. Uh, but right there, he probably told Ando, hello, this is me. <laughs> you wanted to meet me? You wanted me? to meet me? You wanted to play against me? Here I am. No. No? Sabi nga ni Abel Gain, I wants to beat him. Sabi ni <laughs> <laughs> Abel Ando wants to beat him. Well, sabi mo nga, Dr. J, baka mahirapan siya ng konti. There's the drive from Pettigrew. He gets fouled. You go to the line. Let's hear more about this Talk and Text team from Apple. This conference is a work in progress for Talk and Text, especially with their new reinforcements. Meron niya sila mga strategies that worked for them before na gusto nilang balikan, pero dahil hindi nila masyadong na-apply, by that time comes, na kailangan nila itong gamitin ay hindi nila na-execute na maayos or may mga lapses from the players. Pero sabi nga ni Ronnie Del de Ocapo, ang importante, willing makinig at mabilis makaintindi ang kanilang teammates, especially ang kanilang imports. Balik sa inyo, guys. Thanks a lot, Apple. Well, in Siyempre, you insert, uh, you insert uh, certain imports who have you know, long playing time. Guys who handle the ball, like Pettigrew and si Sam Douglas. And then, wala pa sa umpisa ng conference, si Rani Del, si Jason Castro. They don't have Kevin Alas, who's still injured. Ryan Reyes is still in sick bay until now. So, siyempre, adjust lang, adjust lang. But it seems they have, uh, they've, they've found their, their click. Eh? Three, at 3 and 2, ang ganda na kanilang pinapakita. Well, the imports are both okay and they're very steady. You know? And they're also better on the uh, players, the way they move. Gary Gabin is in the ball game. And we're going to have Jared Dillinger go to the free throw line. Mike Cortez is also in there for Ando. Oh, no, no. The foul was called downstairs, so no free throws there for Jared. Two minutes na lang natitira sa ating first quarter. This is Jared Dillinger. Susubukan ang depensa ni Larry Fonacher. Powers his way to the hoop. And that's one thing that Jared Dillinger can do. Contra sa kanyang mga defenders. Dahil do sa strength niya. Yeah, he's 6'4", you know, about maybe 220. So that's an advantage for him if he plays the two or the three position. Castro over to Fonacher. Rangel is open there. Pero Pettigrew bumays line drive. Late that defense in Jared Dillinger. Pettigrew gets that. Cuts the lead down to just seven. On the floor right now. Kung titignan mo yung mga players, Dr. J, ang dami naglaro sa national team in the past. Well, especially, especially on the side there of uh, the... Uh, Proper text team. Mike Cortez with a two-point shot. He was caught stepping on the line. Ito si Mike Cortez. Yun ang pinag-uusapan ng ibang mga kasama natin in the media. Na si Mike Cortez was averaging about 29, 30 minutes a ball game. But when Seiya Ando came to play, his minutes plummeted down to less than 20. That's true. Well, he knows he has to adjust. Ang magagawa mo, the team got a point guard. If they had gotten Kamrani, it would have been the same thing. Because we can't say anything about Kamrani. He is oh. a player. Now. <laughs> In fact, uh, he was scheduled to come. Pero na kwento nga na, dahil buntis ang kanyang misis, hindi raw makabiyahe. Eh, gusto niya sana isama. Ayon naman niyang iwanan doon. So that's the reason why Madi Kamrani was not able to suit up it, para sa Meralco Balls. It would have been nice for him to come. And we would have had an opportunity. To, you know, we lost to Irani in the uh, championship uh, where it was held here. 
But you know, wala naman si Filipino na naiinis kay Cabral. He, he, he plays the game the way it should be played. Simple, simple. Yeah, uh, actually, hindi naman mayabak. You know what I mean? He doesn't go uh, the other team or anything. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. 14 seconds left from the shot. Ito na si Mike Cortez. Trying to call that play. Looking for the pick from Kelly Nabong. A bagong acquisition. And Miralco Balls. He was actually there before. So Balik Miralco yan. Jumper from Gary D. Unsuccessful. But they get an offensive rebound. And they have all the time remaining in quarter number one to come up with something. 10 seconds to go. Mike Cortez obviously wants to get that main full cut going again because he hasn't been full for quite a while. Very right? nice play. Sets up Jared, pero he overcompensated. Meta Bika ng bola, pumasok yun! That might count, although that was stopped by Rani Del Do Campo. It went to the opponents, but that will be checked by the referee. No? Might get credited to Kelly Nabu, who was the closest yes. player. Of course. Count it, sabi ng ating referee. So, naka, naka dalawa pa nga ang Meraldo before it ended. Just look at it. Ayun, no? May point one of the set of papalada. So, at the end of one quarter, Meraldo went out to a double-digit lead, but now ends it up by eight points.